Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to talk about Niagara and how we can pause and utilize time dilation with our Niagara systems. Now, I'm going to be using a Niagara emitter and a Niagara system that I created in the ambient effects video. But you can use whatever Niagara system you would like to use. So to get this started, I'm going to right click in my content browser and I'm going to create a blueprint class from an actor. And then we'll give it a name, BP, whatever you want to call it. And then we'll open that up. Now, once we have this open up, we want to add our Niagara system. So under add component, I'm going to search for Niagara. I'm going to add Niagara particle system. And now once we have this over in our details panel, we can add our Niagara system. So in my case, I'm looking for my dust particle. And once we add it, it should appear right away. So with that out of the way, let's go and take a look at our event graph. Now, the first one we're going to look at is pausing our Niagara system. But like most of my tutorials, I'm going to base this on a keyboard press. So off of event begin play, I'm going to look for enable input. And then we need to get a reference to our player controller or our player start. So I'm going to drag off of this pin and I'm going to type in get player controller. And now we're set up to take keyboard inputs. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And now we need a keyboard input. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to search for keyboard. And now you can use whatever key you want. I'm going to use F. And now I want to get a reference to my Niagara system. So I'm going to drag this out. And now if we drag off of this pin, we can look for pause. And you should see set paused. And now what's nice about this is that this is Boolean based. So if I make a copy of this, now I have two, and we hook up our reference to this one as well. This first one is going to be true, and the second one's going to be false. So when I press F, we're gonna pause it, and then when I release F, we're going to unpause it. So let's go take a look at this. I'm gonna compile and save, and now let's go and drag our blueprint out into the world. Let's pull this up a little bit. I'll back up and now I'll play. Now, if I hit F on the keyboard, it freezes. Awesome. And just this particle. And if I release F, it starts playing again. So this is pretty cool. Now, this isn't the only way we can achieve a pause. So now I want to talk about time dilation. Now time dilation can be a good way to pause your particle system or slow it down. So I'm just going to clean some of this up real quick, pull these down and out of the way, pull these up a little bit. And now I'm going to break all of this so that we can set something else up. So for the time dilation, we're going to need a keyboard press and we need a vent tick. And now I want to get a reference to our Niagara system. And off of this pin, I'm going to look for advance, advance simulation. And what you can do with this is you can advance the simulation by a certain amount of time at a certain speed. So in my tick count, I'm going to put one. So we only advance one frame at a time. And then we need something for the tick delta seconds. And right here we have event tick. But I want to multiply this by an intensity. So I'm going to multiply float by float. And then I'm going to promote this to a variable and we'll give it a name. We'll just call it time and we'll make sure that it's public. I'll just pull this down here and then we'll plug this into time delta seconds. Now we need to compile so we can give this a value. So I'm going to compile and save and I'm going to give this a value of one. This is going to be its default. And now in our keyboard press, I'm going to set our time. So if I press this, it's going to be zero. And then I'll just copy this and paste it. And then when I release, we're going to set this back to one. And we'll just connect our event tick. And now let's go and take a look at what we have. So I'll just minimize this and play. I'll back up and I'll hit F. And you'll notice that this is kind of working. You can see that it's slowing down, but it's not slowing down all the way. And now there's a reason for this. So if we come back to our blueprint, 
It turns out if you want advanced simulation to work properly, you need to add some sort of delay or some sort of refresh in here. So what we do is we can take our set pause, we'll take our true one and put it here. So at the end of our simulation, we're pausing so it can refresh. And then, so it starts again, we want to take our other set paused and put it at the beginning. I'll just clean this up, delete that reference, and we'll plug the reference back in here. And we'll put our event tick into here and our set paused true into our advanced simulation. Now we'll just pull this stuff out of the way. Now let's compile and save so we can check this out. So I'm going to go and play and I'll back up I'll hit F on the keyboard and now it freezes and freezes again. And if we release, it unfreezes. Now there's a little bit more to talk about with time dilation. So right now we can pause this particle system. But what if we wanted to pause all of these particle systems in the world and then speed up this particle system? So back in our blueprint, I'm going to make another keyboard input. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to look for keyboard. And we'll use a different key this time. We'll use something like K. And now we want to right click and look for global time dilation. And we want to set it. So set global time dilation. So when I press K on the keyboard, we will set our time dilation to 0 0.01. And when we release, we'll set it to 1. So we'll compile and we can take a look at this. And we'll go play, make sure it's working. So K on the keyboard, everything freezes, release, they all unfreeze. And now back in our blueprint, if we come to our time, now what we want to do in this case is to increase this value. This is basically a multiplication of this time dilation. So if we set this a lot higher, we'll try 1000 first. We'll compile and save. So we'll hit K and then we'll hit F on the keyboard. So I'll back up a little bit, we'll hit K, hit F. Oh, it's still freezing. We wanted to do it the opposite way. So not a thousand here. We'll set this to one and we'll set this one to 1000. We'll compile and save. And now let's take a look. So we'll hit play, we'll back up a little bit, let K in the keyboard, everything freezes, hit F on the keyboard. And now our particle, and now our particle system unfreezes. So this is all really cool. It's definitely an interesting combination of stuff, but this should show you how you can pause and utilize time dilation with your systems. All right, guys, if you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.